boy, I'm excited for this one. So you guys know how much I love the current Legend size class, right? I mean, they've had some amazing figures lately. And Power of the Primes is no exception to that fact. And now that we're finally into the second wave, it's time for me to finally talk your faces off about some figures that got me more excited than the Dinobots. Now these guys are Bow Slash and Road Trap, respectively. And they're so much fun, you guys. These two are based on the vehicle modes used by Battle Trap, one of the only two dual cons back in the 80s. Now in G1, both he and Flywheels had one robot mode, but split apart into two vehicle modes. Battle Trap's being a helicopter and a truck van thing. Since the olden days, Battle Trap has only had one other toy, and that was a BotCon exclusive. So Hasbro decided to give us all something a little more affordable and honestly more fun, giving the vehicle modes individual robot modes up in the fun factor. Now talking about the new robot modes for a second, Road Trap here is actually pretty sweet looking. I just really dig the way that this guy looks, what with the elongated mouth plate, the big eye visor, huge stumpy feet, which you can see I painted these rope parts on his feet black. I painted these because they were originally blue and blended into the feet. I didn't really like that, so I painted them black. And to me it looks better. Speaking of the eye visor, I actually painted it all the way down to the mouth plate because it didn't reach all the way down. And this figure is really great. The only real complaint that I have about him is that his arms here can't really go back any farther than right there. It's not really a deal breaker, it's just like, I don't really understand why. But yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Road Trap is great. I was looking forward to get Road Trap the most, but both he and Battle Slash have some great parts and some not so great parts. That doesn't make them bad figures, I actually love them both individually. Basically to the point that I actually might buy a second set of these guys for reasons that I will not disclose right now. Anyway, on to Battle Slash. He kind of has these weird shoulders up here to where it's like, they go forward and outwards normally, but it's like, they're attached here. I mean, the shoulders still work, but it's just like, that's... Kind of odd looking to me. But it works, so I'm not really going to complain. Also, he has got some wide hips, man. They do not lie. But we all know why those are there, but we're not to that part yet. Patience! Anyway, he's able to use the blade as a weapon, kind of like Vortex from Fall of Cybertron, so... I can dig it. I just really like him. He really works for some reason. I'm pretty sure that's all I can really say about the robot modes for now, so why don't we head over to the vehicle mode. So they both have good transformations, and, and the robot modes look really good, and their vehicle modes are both... okay. Like they both have some good parts, and they both have some not-so-good parts. Some parts that are just kind of... eh. But these modes and the robot modes are definitely not what you are buying these two figures for. So let's get to the good part. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Check this fellow out, guys. This Duocon double team is one dangerous dude. They even gave him a helicopter blade on his back like in the G1 toy. And it doesn't really hinder the articulation. Can still get a good waist sway without even... Can still get a... Can still get a great waist swivel that would make Jabby the Hong really sad because we as an audience have destroyed something that he really loved. Wow, that got dark really fast. Anyway, this is the main event. This is why people are buying these two figures, and you know what? That's okay. Battle Trap is astounding, and I'm happy that we get to have him. We need a dual con flywheels next. Like, you can even keep the name Skytread if you want to. I don't care. I'm sure that even if you did anything like that, if you just remolded these two, everyone would still be really happy. It'll just be amazing to have both Duocons in our collections in a modern age. And if you think that we already got Flywheels or Skytread and Titan's Return as a Titan Master, so that means that we won't get him as a Legends class figure, let me remind you that we've already had that happen. In Titan's Return, with a two-wave difference between the two, it is 100% possible that this can happen. And me and a lot of other fans are hoping that it does. Because this is great. Alrighty guys, well that's the Battle Trap review from Power of the Primes. This has been Zero One Trans Fan. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and as always, subscribe for more, and I'll, and I'll catch you all next time.